Hey, so that was standard. Um, let me put standard in a pile. I guess we'll go ahead. So Coach Locks return is an interesting speculation. I like cards that have shown that they can go up very high in price, but then go down in price. Oh, I'll save this for last actually. Uh, modern, I get, I picked up the most from modern. Uh, free visions, these cards I you can pick up extremely cheap right now. Four Lingling Souls, a Mutavolt, a Flood of Strand. Uh, Fetch lands are very good to pick up right now. Extremely affordable and regardless of Eternal or Modern or Legacy, whatever you want to say it is, Fetch lands will always have value. Uh, Pass in Flames, one more Malera. I did pick up a playset of Heartless Summons, Summoning. I think what's going to happen is cards that people can brew around. Modern seems wide open. I think one of the top eights, one of the GPs had eight decks that were totally different. So that allows a lot of you know, rock, paper, scissors, shoot type of deals where a deck can, a control deck can be a, a mid range, mid range can be an aggro, and a rogue deck that people are not sideboarding heavy against can be, in my opinion, can do extremely well. Now, the big one, I believe, is Cursed Catcher. So if you're not familiar with this card, it's like a $10, $15 card. Uh, the reason I stocked up so many on them was I like it a lot right now. Um, I like it a lot because Merfolk actually was one of those top eight decks in Modern, and I haven't seen that in a while. Merfolk is also played heavily in Legacy. Now, some of the Merfolk, well actually I'm trying to think of any of the Merfolk being reprinted recently. I can't, doesn't come to mind. I think A for Vile is probably the biggest reprint for that deck. But overall, when you have a Cursed Catcher, it's really hard to reprint this card. Uh, he is absolutely a 4 of. If he was not a 4 of in those decks, he would not be a $15 TCG made card. I'm okay with stockpiling them for a little bit of time. Uh, just because they trade in playsets. No one trades for one of these, they trade for them in playsets. So as a modern uh, tradable, I like them a lot. Plus the fact that when you can up trade, you can um, trade up because when you trade a playset of them, let's say you trade them $60 TCG mids, that's not bad. That's not bad. You can get a really good piece or a really nice uh, foil fetch land for that price. So I was able to pick them up for very, very inexpensively. Uh, path two pack of negations. Again, I I do believe a blue control deck will eventually emerge in modern. It will play probably visions. It will probably play some type of pack of negation, and it'll play play cryptic command. So I'm stockpiling all the blue cards in preparation of that blue deck. Now noble hierarchs. You know I love Noble Hierarchs. These are actually just the Noble Hierarchs. I have the original Conflex ones and two more foils. Pricey, pricey card right now. But at the same time, it is one of the best one drops in all modern. And it just does something that uh, is absolutely necessary for the Jun decks, the Absin decks, the Pod decks. I call I still call them Pod, the uh, Malera decks, right? The... Uh, any of the decks that wants to ramp or play Coco or anything like that, Bant decks, it's going to need Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch is by far probably one of the most, the best one drops in every deck that's not Infect, that wants to ramp up in green. So never, and they are trading like hotcakes. I cannot keep them in my binder. And just like the Curse Catcher, they trade in fours. And whenever you can get something that trades in fours, you can always trade up into dual lands or something that like that. Uh, Grim Lava Mancers, another good staple. And these uh, oozes or promo oozes in particular are extremely cheap. I oozes being played a lot. Um, it's been being played as much, in my opinion, at least in my locals, as much as Tomagorf is being played in modern. I don't see its price ever being cheaper than it is today. And I also see the ability for this card to go up because once upon a time, it was a $20, $25 card. And yes, much more of it has come into the, you know, into the supply pool. But however, it is M14 and that's been a while. M15 origin. So it's been two complete sets back. 
uh, which puts it in very good company of cards that could potentially spike should the player growth continue. So those are my uh, pickups for Modern. If you guys have some pickups or some questions about whether or not you should pick something up, uh, please leave a comment below. Bye.